really refreshing to look at Constable now that this exhibition is here at, at the Ark. And I think what strikes me, trying to get into Constable's shoes, if you like, is how brilliant he is in his observation of weather and the atmosphere. And I find particularly also the noise of the trees rustling in the wind. And um, at Ovington, at where my painting is, I can hear the gurgling of the water. So to me, Constable is absolutely honest to that landscape. Whatever people might say about this, him being at one time chocolate box, he was absolutely brilliant at bringing himself and the countryside alive. I'm in my studio, it's July 2022. And I have just sorted out my studio. That was very refreshing and I'll show you what I've got. When I go on a walk, I take a little sketchbook like this in my pocket and that's, that's just fine. And just recently I went to Chilcombe. So that was the sketch that I did standing up on the hill at Magdalen Hill. And this is for my new batch of work, by the way. And the other subject is the are the dongas and so I've got my sketchbooks all set up and they remind me of the moment that I was up there on those hills then I do keep also a notebook of what I'm supposed to be doing it's almost my sort of instructions that help me get going so in here I'll keep a note of, of each landscape and I've just completed the red landscapes and this was the first one that I did it's quite small um, and that left me with thinking what colours am I going to be doing these next three about the chalk downs well as I was t t um, clearing up my studio I came across a watercolour um, that I'd done and I didn't like it so I just ripped it in half and then having done that that was quite cathartic so I thought, well, hang on, I'll cut, I'll cut the bits out. So I've cut the bits out and they've given me the colours that I want. So by cutting this out, it's inspired me to be using these colours that should match nicely with the red landscapes. So I've probably spent also the last two weeks not only wondering about the colours, but also the size of the paper to use. Well, at last I've made the decision and now I'm, of course, faced with a blank piece of paper and it's very tempting, it's 11 o'clock, to just go and have a cup of coffee and yet again stall starting, but I haven't got any more jobs to do so I'm really up against having to start. Um, but uh, nevertheless, in my mind, is John Constable and on this particular page is one of my favourites and also that is a, a grey wash drawing of Winchester Cathedral. Anyway I will have a cup of coffee and then I'll get started.